So when it comes to my creative process, a lot of what I do actually is spotting emerging talent, which is crazy for me to say because I still feel like I'm learning myself in a way. And I get to uh, search for these people or they approach me and um, normally, non-pandemic, I would take them into a studio and we would just record. We would start recording something. It's not going to go out on air. It's just let's just mess around and see what you can do. And a lot of people come to life and it's amazing. And they just need a bit of like brushing up with their skills. That's all it is. Right, 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 right. The process of finding music is kind of where it all starts because you're doing it for the love of the music and the love of the scene. As I've progressed in radio, I tend to use Bandcamp a lot more. I think Bandcamp Fridays uh, over the last year have been incredible. Um, I love how the community just comes together for one day and just spends so much money on supporting artists and labels. And I think it was beautiful to see everyone come together and do that. I listen. <laughs> And obviously the most organic thing is being in a club and hearing a tune and just going, what's this track? <laughs> and I think that is amazing. That's when you find some real gems when you're watching a DJ and you're like, I'm going to sneak a peek of what's on the CDJ and <laughs> see the name of the song. And also as a DJ, when people do that to you is a great feeling because you're introducing people to new music. So whenever people are like, what's this track? Or when they show their phone going, what's this track? I'll literally like take their phone and type it in because it's like, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Things when you play out in the club that I think about are Who's going to be there? Who else is on the lineup? And what time am I playing? So if I'm playing early, I will just experiment and sort of do like a slow build up kind of set. Whereas, you know, more recently I would play maybe at midnight or 1am or maybe sometimes last. And it's just energy from the beginning to the end. ID was, um, was, it started when me and Arhad were just in the smoking area. I think we were in like Rye Wax in Peckham or something. And we were just talking about shining a spotlight on more South Asian creatives because we know that they exist. We just don't know where they are and they're not represented properly amongst um, publications. And we thought, well, should we just make something? We didn't know what it was. We just knew it'd be a platform or maybe even just a community. And it kind of turns into um, like an event series, which I think at the beginning was a really good way of bringing people together and then highlighting uh, South Asian DJs. Uh, so Hoover Sound is a label that Sherelle and I founded. Um, it focuses on the lefter sounds of electronic music and the faster sounds of electronic music. Uh, Sherelle and I met at Represent Radio, both radio hosts and DJs, and we kind of bonded over our like, love for tech life. And then um, now she is a touring DJ, a very successful lady, my best friend, and she is also a Radio 1 resident. We actually went back to back at Brixton Academy supporting The Prodigy, which was yeah, very surreal. And um, I remember after that, or even when we were like practicing at mine for that gig or something, like going through some tunes together, we were like, our music taste is sick. <laughs> we were like, we've got like this lefter, faster sounding um, dance music that isn't signed. And we're like hunting for these weird, like electronic artists that no one knows of. Um, we should do something with this. We should start a label. 